whole arsenal at the ready. Right behind you! Yeah. 
come this way. Lieutenant Victus? Commander Shepard, my men and I are in your debt. Thank you for saving so many. What happened here? He screwed up. Stand down, soldier. These men are dead because of him. I said, stand down. Hey, I just saved all your asses, so everyone just calm down. Lieutenant. What's going on here? I made a bad call. This is all on me. I chose caution and clever tactics over a head-on attack. And my men paid the price. You mean the crash? Yes. We could see on Hollow that Reaper forces were blocking our intended path. Staying on course guaranteed heavy casualties. So I chose a safer route, skirting the enemy. And that took us low and through these ruins. When we encountered resistance, there was no room to maneuver. Suddenly, we were in a fight for our lives. A lot of my men lost that fight. Owning your mistake takes guts, but you have to get over it and move on. Of course. It's just fresh right now. Our mission's still a failure. When we've stabilized the injured, we'll head back to the fleet. You're abandoning your mission? We're down over 30 men. It'd be suicide. What exactly did you come here to do? There's a bomb on the planet. We were sent to defuse it. A bomb? How big? Enormous. Cerberus has it. Lieutenant, if Cerberus has that bomb, you have to finish your mission. Haven't these men sacrificed enough? I understand. This kind of sacrifice is the hardest to ask for, but your men signed on for it, and so did you. My men have lost hope, Commander. Even if I wanted to finish the mission, they don't. It's your job to make them want to. How? Their sacrifice means that others will never face what they faced here today. Remind them that those sacrifices have no honor if the mission fails. Men, I own what happened here today. But we have to carry on. No, we don't. Who cares about a few dead Krogan? It's over. We are Turi, and we will not let Cerberus succeed. Our sacrifice is the difference between life and death for this entire galaxy. Let the heroes of the Ninth Platoon be remembered for performing their duties with bravery. All right, men. Shuttle's arriving any minute. We're moving out. Commander, come with us. We're a shell of what we were. We could use the help. Send me the nav point. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. That'll give us time to do a little recon. See what we're up against. Victus, you have a second chance here. Make their sacrifice count. Understood, Commander. Hope to see you at the rendezvous. Cerberus bomb. What the hell is going on, Commander? And what do the Turians have to do with it? Coordinates Victus gave me place it in the Kelphic Valley. It's a heavily populated area. That's all I know. My gut says something's not right here. What do you suggest? Get the Primarch to come clean. Should we alert the Krogan military? I'd wait. We're in the dark here. Krogan-Turian relations are fragile until the genophage is cured. Let's not push it. And how about this bomb? How many troops does Cerberus have on this? No idea. All I know is, we can't have them detonating that bomb. Keep me in the loop. Hack it out. Primarch Victus. Impressive work on Tuchanka. 
I'm grateful that... Why didn't you tell me about the Cerberus bomb? Why hide that? What else are you keeping from me? I have nothing for you. For our alliance to work, I need to trust you. Our friendship is new, Commander. Would you trust me with information that puts your people, puts Earth, at risk? Why would I jeopardize our alliance by lying to you now? It doesn't make sense. Decisions like these weigh heavy on me. When I was a general, I could pass them up the chain of command. But now, I'm all I've got. Know what I mean? Sure. And? And... And that's all. Wait, there is one more thing, Commander. Thank you for saving my son. Shepard, test verified. Results promising. Can synthesize for universal Krogan immunity. Good. Then you can put your knife away. The cure's ready? No. Still need transmission vector. Cure useless, unless given to entire species. You're usually full of ideas, Morden. You altered the genophage before. There must be a way. Of course. Always possibilities. But time limited. Can't create new infection strain from scratch. Groundwater? No. Too slow. Voluntary inoculation risky. Population too scattered for airborne. Unless... Wait! Yes! The Shroud. Constant global dispersion of air particles. Built by Salarians to repair atmosphere of Tuchanka. Also used by Turian. We used it to secretly spread the genophage virus. It ended the Krogan rebellions. I'd be careful who you tell that to. Sometimes I understand why the Krogan want to shoot everyone in sight. Those were desperate times. Yes, yes, but useful now. Original genophage strain still in storage at Shroud Facility. Can use it as transmission vector, then you Shroud to blanket Tuchanka with cure. You clever little pie jack. That's our best shot, right there. Then finish your preparations and be ready to go, Morden. Of course. Ready when you need me. We'll be in Med Bay with Eve until then. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on VidCom. Biotics is the ability of... It may be possible to reverse the genophage by extracting an immunity from the genetic data of a cured Krogan female. A Solarian geneticist named Malin, a former student of Dr. Morden Solis, discovered the cure through unethical experimentation on live subjects. The complexity and durability of the genophage derives from biochemical countermeasures that the Solarians wove into the plague in an attempt to make the sterilization incurable. No one is certain of how Malin circumvented the countermeasures, but his work was complete enough to allow replication of his results. 
In its original form, the cure restored fertility but severely compromised the immune system. This resulted in slow, painful death for all but one of Malin's test subjects. If the beneficial aspects of the cure can be isolated, a specially tailored virus could repair the affected genes in other Krogan. The John Grissom Tachanka, the Krogan homeworld, boasts extreme temperatures, virulent diseases, and predatory fauna. Around 1900 BCE, the Krogan discovered atomic weapons and promptly sent their planet into a nuclear winter. The majority of the population retreated to underground bunkers, and Krogan culture slipped into a dark age, dominated by tribal clans. In 80 CE, decades into the Rachni Wars, the Salarian Union made first contact with the primitive Krogan and initiated a cultural uplift to shape them into a modern army capable of confronting the Rachni. During this uplift, the Salarians constructed the Shroud facility on Tachunka to shield the planet from harmful forms of solar radiation. Later, during the Krogan rebellions, reproductive rates were curtailed by the genophage, ensuring the Krogan remained a species in decline and Tachunka a desolate wasteland.
I'm grateful for all you've done, Commander. The situation with the Krogan is already complicated enough. Not as complicated as waking up one day and being told you're the new Primarch. <laughs> yes, thank you. I'm beginning to understand why leaders so often seem lonely. Worst case scenarios aren't just theories. They're what you'll be dealing with five minutes from now. That's why it helps to have allies. Yes, you're right, of course. Is there something I can help you with? That's all. Of course, Commander. What was that all about with the Primarch? Tyrion's up to something? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Uh-huh. All right. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Ah, uh, yeah. Something wrong? Morden. He got his tissue sample from me, all right. Let's just say scalpels were never meant to cut where he cut. Cerberus is attacking civilians on Benning. We've been asked to help evacuate the planet. Are you alright, Commander? It sounded like things were bad down there. The Turians took some heavy losses, but we got them out okay. Well, whatever you did down there stirred up a lot of Turian comm traffic. What are they saying? Sorry, it's encrypted. Cracking it would take at least a week. And it would be wrong. Commander, 